Yes? No? There's no sun. You don't need them. Oh, you still want them? Because they make you look cool? I get it. Oh, uh, even like Bono, yeah? Okay, just like Bono, because sunglasses. No matter indoor, outdoor, sunny day, cloudy day, fine. There you go. Do they look fine? Do they look good? Are they crooked? No, you're looking great. Ah, uh, they're a little bit crooked. You're okay with that? Good, so am I. We don't want to be wasting people's time. Hi everybody, welcome to another little episode of Blooms For You. Oh my goodness, the fight, the struggle is real. Champagne problems, buds having to bloom out. Please don't blast because it just throws my list off and I have to delay dedications, but I got me some beauties to bloom out and I would like to dedicate those today, individually naming those that have come up on the list. Now, for purposes of simplicity, and I never ever want to exclude anybody that watches my videos, be it on the day that it airs or in the year's time, know that the fact that you're here, thank you for being here. Welcome, I appreciate that you're here and know that all the blooms on Cousin It, scientifically known by the experts as Maxillaria variabilis, they are here to bloom for you as a thank you for watching this video and spending time having a look-see as to whose name came up this time and what blooms I managed to get to bloom out. So without further ado, let's give it a goo and have a look-see and we'll be right back. Another spike on my pink brisht. As I mentioned in past videos, I have several pink brisht tulumias <laughs> and each one is bringing out a spike. And in the back there, there's a branching cluster coming up, possibly on that spike as well. So pink brisht in abundance here in my collection. But that gives me the opportunity to say thank you to Groundbreaker Explorer and Arlo K0 or QE0. So this is the latest of my pink brisk spikes, which I'm very pleased to be able to dedicate to the two of you, saying thank you and expressing my appreciation for your support on my channel. My poor little tulumnias look a little bit gnarled considering the climate they have to tolerate at this point in time, but at least they are blooming and that makes them look pretty, in my opinion. The fact that I have so much pink brisk, somebody must have known that this was going to do it for me. <laughs> of course, it was a mistake. The tulumnias came mislabeled, but never mind. Their abundance and their cuteness, I'll take them regardless. Now it is a very sunny day, but there's a kind of a haze. So I think we can really appreciate the details of these blooms. A little bit of pixie dust sprinkled in on that lip. Too cute. I love it. Absolutely love it. Also from the back. Oh, that's just so gorgeous. I never expected to have my tulumnias blooming while they're on a tray being carried in and out on the daily, but my night temperatures are a little bit too low. That would frazzle their structures. Anyway, minor details. We've got ourselves some pink brish blooms and they are for you, Groundbreaker Explore and Arlo QE0 or K0. Thank you to both of you for your support on my channel. I hope that you're doing well in your part of the world. This is a no ID Tulumnia in my collection, but in order to keep her identified, I call her hot fuchsia with white dotted necklace around the lip something along those lines just so that my memory won't fail me when she's not in bloom. And I am going to film her now, even though it's a nasty day, it's a windy day, but I'm losing blooms even though I've got more buds coming and I really, really don't want to miss the mark to dedicate this spike to Marco Paolo Fonseca and Odolan Silva Cosas da Natureza. Now, I probably messed that name up very, very much, but I do hope that Orderlan Silva still understands that this spike is also dedicated to them. So Marco Paolo Fonseca, Orderlan Silva Cosas de Naturaleza, thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. I've got myself a very windy day, so why not film delicate little blooms on a tulumnia? 
Hey, everyone loves the challenge. Oh, she is gorgeous. But there's something I want to clarify that in the viewfinder, she looks a lot more pink than she is in real life. She is much, much darker. The petals up here and sepals, they're almost like a deep Barolo wine color. So she's a lot darker. And then by contrast as well, the lip in comparison to the dark red wine petals and sepals has that margin of depth as well. So it's not exactly the true color form that we see here on the viewfinder, but I do kind of like what I'm seeing anyway. So I have one more bud to go. I've already lost three blooms. I was hoping to get the spike to be a little bit more fuller, but the blooms did fade very fast because of the conditions. So I do hope that Marco Paolo Fonseca and Odalan Silva Cosas da Naturaleza will forgive me that this little spike is not as abundant as I would have preferred, but she is still so very, very pretty. I don't have any branching coming along just yet. I'm hoping that she will branch. Maybe, possibly on this node, that would be nice. Just to extend a little bit more the lifeline of these gorgeous blooms. Very, very pleased with this little Tolumnia. So I do want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel, Marco Paolo Fonseca and Odalan Silva Cosas de Naturaleza. This spike blooms for you. Nothing personal, nothing personal with this dedication. It's just that I do have an ID for this Tolumia and she is called Red Devil. Very, very obvious as to why. And Red Devil is dedicated to Nidia Hernandez and Demi Weinberg. And this Tolumia is holding on so, so well with her blooms, even though she has a lot more buds to go. I still want to film this spike right now because I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of days. And she's just looking pristine. Absolutely love this orchid. I thought I had lost her because she doesn't have a tag on her basket. Now you can see the basket there to the right. She doesn't have a tag on her because when things started to happen with my Tolumnia collection and they started to bloom out, all the labels were kind of wrong. But this one, wasn't wrong when she bloomed and that's why I know she's a red devil. I had a single bloom from her many many years ago and I thought I had lost her so imagine my surprise when this one bloomed out and it's got another spike coming. This one has now impressed me. Not only am I glad that she didn't perish with the others that did not make it based on my miscalculation of my setup. Red Devil is here and I am so happy to dedicate her to Nidia Hernandez and Demi Weinberg to say thank you to you via my Red Devil Spike for your support on my channel. This spike is also much, much more sturdy than the previous one we saw with the fuchsia blooms. So I am thinking that despite her also having to move in and out on a daily basis so that I can water her and the basket can dry out, I am thinking that maybe the sturdiness of the spike has something to do with the longevity of the blooms. She is gorgeous. She is almost true to color in the viewfinder. It's a little bit more of a deeper red on the lip. So that looks quite pink, like a pink little outline there. It just goes from red to redder. Red Devil is a perfect name for her. And the fact that she came back so strong, despite having cold burn here on the leaf tips, she is super strong, super vigorous. And to have this orchid in my collection and not have lost her, is big time for me. I like my yellows and golden and brown tolumnias, but to get these vibrant popping reds and also pretty, pretty solid, that's special in my books. My little red devil is alive and doing well. And for that reason, once again, Nidia Hernandez and Demi Weinberg, thank you for your support on my channel. This spike here blooms for you. The big reveal, drum roll. This is Zelencocidium Eva's Hymnu a la Madrugada. 
Ta-da! And I want to dedicate the first spike of an orchid that I thought was going to be a varicosum variety Bolden. <laughs> and it turned out it was something completely different. So to everybody in the video that helped me out to identify her, this first spike goes to you. One that would prefer not to be mentioned, but you know who you are. There used to be a crime program on television and you talked to me about it in your comments and you came up with the ID because you saw my bloom and then bit by bit by bit the puzzle unraveled and you have one from Curleen Orchidein. So that would be the first one that helped me out. The next one was Michael McCarthy because now that I had the cross on Sidium Sotoanum and Zelenka Onustum, Michael McCarthy was the one that gave me the actual name, which is Eva's Himno a la Madrugada. Thank you, Michael McCarthy. This spike is also dedicated to you. I appreciate your extra detective work to get the right name. Carol Sykes, want to say thank you as well for telling me one of her parents looked like a Sotoanum. I wouldn't have known. I thought Sotoanums were much, much pinker. So you have a really good eye, Carol Sykes. And for that reason, this spike also blooms for you. And Galia's orchids as well. Thank you so much for being so informative in the comments because you also got yours from Curly and Orchidin and you gave me the parents as well. So I have one that prefers to remain anonymous. Michael McCarthy, Carol Sykes and Galia's orchids to dedicate my Zelencosidium Eva's Himno a la Madrugada to all of you to say thank you so, so much for identifying this orchid for me, which in the beginning I was majorly disappointed by not getting my, my bright yellow blooms with a pop of dark splotches that I was looking forward to. But eventually the name Eva's Himno a la Madrugada. I couldn't believe it. So Eva, I don't know who she was, but she must be an early riser. So if I were to translate that into English, it would be Eva's Hymn at Sunrise. Right, so I just had a little joke with everybody that I've mentioned in that video and then the comments that they left saying either Eva had a beautiful voice and she woke up in the mornings just around sunrise and started singing. What a great way to wake up and that's why this orchid has been given the name. On the other hand, Eva might be a little baby girl <laughs> and she has her own little format of singing early in the morning at sunrise. Either way as you take it. I love the name, and with that name being so precious, and in Spanish, you know, I'm biased. I must say she has wormed her way into my heart. So, my Selencosidium, Eva's Himno a la Madrugada, is dedicated to Anonymous, Michael McCarthy, Carol Sykes, and Galia's Orchids. All of you, thank you so much for your detective work and for making it easy for me and for giving this little orchid an identity. And I can finally say she's growing on me. Besides the fact that the blooms are lasting forever. I mean, I still have two buds to open, but I am not going to risk dedicating this spike to all of you and hope for the next buds to open. She is looking beautiful right now. Not fragrant. Maybe on the second blooming, she'll get something out of the Soto Anum and bless me with a fragrance. But anyway, Anonymous, Michael McCarthy, Carol Sykes, and Galia's Orchids, thank you so much. This is Zelencosidium, Eva's Himno a la Madrugada, blooming for you. My Paphiopedalum Iona, two blooms this year. Last year I had three. Oh well, can't win them all, but two blooms is better than no blooms. So unusual plants, very, very fitting for unusual blooms. And mama's orchids. Each of you has a bloom that I'm dedicating to as a massive thank you for your support on my channel. She is really, really a vigorous orchid. And even though last year I had three stooges and I was cracking some jokes with regards to how they go about communicating with each other this year with the two blooms, that's okay. They're a little bit crowded, so I consider them holding hands, not to be separated. I have her supported in the back just for display purposes. It's all a little bit primitive. It's nothing permanent. And I can then remove that duct tape with the wire once she's done blooming. 
This is an older fan, so let's remove that if we can. No, we can't. Still on there tight and tough. But look, two fans have bloomed this year. I was very conservative on the fertilizer all year. Even though I had three last year, I thought, well, now we're going to get three every single year. That is not the case, but I'm not going to be greedy. The fact that she is in bloom, these blooms have now been open for five days. They are going to be around for quite some time, and I'm really pleased to give them to unusual plants and mamas or kids. The blooms themselves are extremely fuzzy, very hairy. They look like the marabou stork in Kenya. We used to call them old men. <laughs> fuzzy gizzard. <laughs> not fragrant, but very, very attractive. She is not a headache of an orchid at all. And if she keeps giving me two blooms, one bloom, whatever she gives me every year reliably, then wow, I'm not going to be greedy and ask for more. Thank you very much to Unusual Plants and Mama's Orchids for your support of my channel. This is Paphiopedlum Iona. She blooms for you. Lots of tolumnias in this one, but hey, tis the season for the little tolumnias, and I am being scolded again by cousin It. What is the problem now? There is a brown leaf on you. Okay, it's gone. You happy now? You looking better? Anything else, monsieur? Anything else I can do for you? Is there another one in the back? Uh, dear, oh dear, no, that is just a brown tip. That's not coming off. But, oh my goodness, it never ends with this guy. Once you give him the attention, he will tell you where you are going wrong and correct you very, very quickly. Better? Great. Thank you. And thank you as well for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know that you're here. Say hello in the comments below. How are your orchids doing? Anything that you would like to talk about. The comments are there for a reason and I love reading them, replying and communicating with you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm already working on the next episode, so I think I'm gonna be okay with a few more buds coming. So watch out for that and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition though, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.